Hello, my name is Dubrov Kolop and, and uh, I play didgeridoo in my free time and I have a lot of free time. Today I would like to uh, present you an instrument, a didgeridoo, which is um, very special because it has become our model. And uh, we chose it to be the model of the end of didgeridoo because it has some very special qualities that we think are very important when you learn didgeridoo. The first quality is that it is uh, very, very easy to play. So it has high back pressure and pretty much even if your lips are very sleepy, you will get a nice drone. Now it's, you cannot believe my lips are not so very sleepy, but when you try, you will realize what I'm speaking about here. The second strong asset that it has is its uh, precision. So I wanted it to be very precise because I think it's very important to that the instrument gives you feedback when you're learning. So for example, And the third asset that it has is its loudness. I feel this is also very important because most of the time when you're learning, you're playing acoustically and also you're busking to earn the money that you spend for the dig. And so it's quite necessary that the dig is loud. This dig is very loud. So we make this dig from European hardwoods. They are from one piece and they're drilled. And uh, I feel that maybe the most important um, reason why it's easy to learn to play on this didgeridoo is because it's so precise and because it gives you great feedback and support for the tongue. Tongue is the main mover of the didgeridoo. Once you get the basic breathing done, to be able to play anything more complex, you will need to use your tongue. So I would love to give some example how and why this didgeridoo works in a great way. So you can use your tongue very smoothly, yeah, so you, you can just modulate the overtones, the harmonics. And most didgeridoos will work very well here. However, where the digits become um, different is the moment where you start to put more detail into it and when you um, start to carve out that wind that is coming out of you and uh, then if the didgeridoo is able to articulate or not makes that difference. So I will take a four uh, phase tongue articulation, taka waka, the breath is on the wa and I will first show it how it works in a very basic um, execution. Then I would like to show how very easy it is to put voice inside because it's it doesn't take a lot of energy to play the didger this didgeridoo. It's very easy to add a little bit more to it. Then for me, what uh, is also very important are the trumpet tones, the toots, because they transmit melody. So you can play melody by using voice or by using trumpet tones. So I will take the same articulation. I will leave the voice and I will add a little bit of um, toots to see how easy it is to play very high toots on this and did you do.
there is one more aspect of tongue which I appreciate a lot and that is traditional playing and uh, for me it was even important to include that as a feature in this didgeridoo and because it works so well we chose it so by this I mean this very um, intricate and complex uh, tongue attacks but also the textures that are given by tongue grinding the air and last but not the least is the air code which means that playing uh, away from the mouthpiece so that at some point you hit the sound and you open from the mouthpiece so that you can change the acoustics of the instrument and I will take the first example, the Takawaka, and on top of what I have been playing there, I will include a little bit of air code, and I will include a little bit of textures just to make it a bit more fun. <laughs> So that's mainly what this jury can do, but maybe you discover more and more ways. And of course, there are many, uh, but the main uh, assets of it are presented here as very uh, high precision, very easy to play, and also very, very loud instrument. I think it's very important to have them all because it's gives that, it gives you a great feedback uh, when you play. So to have something that is very easy to play, something that has great position and something that is loud. And in this way you have support when you're playing, but also you have a very good feedback of what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And without it, it is almost impossible to progress. For more information, please visit our website www.dventedigeridoo.com. There you will find much more. And also you can contact us, ask anything that you like. Um, if possible, meet us somewhere while we are on tour, try the instrument yourself. It's made from one piece, it has never had any joint, and um, you get a high uh, quality control by Danke and me, which we do with our all the end of the So I hope you like it and I hope you try it one day. Thank you. <laughs>